Hello and welcome to Tech Anim Studios. So in this video, I will show you guys how to set up a better camera manager for a third person uh, controller. So for example, I have this uh, personal project which I've been working on in my free time. So I have set up a, a locomotion system. So when I implemented the IK so that my character properly aligns to the world uh, ground normal, I am facing this issue that when I'm standing on surface or uh, when I'm standing on a slope, the camera height changes. Uh, it is because we need to lower our character. We need to lower our character mesh in order to match it with the ground normal. So this is uh, not what I want. So I want my camera height to stay at this location. For example, I can see my connected pelvis at this point so when i'm moving uh, when i am walking running on slopes and different terrains you can clearly see the difference that the camera height changes because my mesh lowers so this is the a generic issue which you guys have also experienced if you have implemented any iq on top of your character so in this uh, tutorial i will show you guys how to set up how to fix this issue using a uh, bones using virtual bones and we'll also discuss the advantages of using this solution so let's get started guys so before i start uh, I will I will tell you I will let you know guys uh, there's a advanced movement a system tutorial series already available on my YouTube channel so in that video in that tutorial in the first tutorial we have set up this camera manager so this is the camera manager which we have made in that tutorial so Currently, I am using get actor location to define my new camera location. So here's my get actor location. I am so here's the just the calculation part for uh, interpolating when I'm walking and running. So for example, if I am if I set this to 180 value you can see that there is not any interpolation happening while walking and running so that's just the calculation uh, which i have made so here's the main part that i'm using the get actor location to define my camera location and this is why when i stand on a slope my character lowers uh, my mesh lowers down and due to that my camera height changes so a uh, one solution would be is you can use the same value which you have calculating for lowering your pelvis for ik you can use the same value to bring the camera down that is also one solution but i will show you guys a better solution so if i open my animation blueprint so here is my animation blueprint and if i go to my event graph so here is my feed ik trace if i enable it so now if i hit play you can see the traces as well so I'm using these traces in order to find the pelvis height. So I can use the same value to bring my camera down. So uh, that is one solution, but another solution would be if I, which is the better solution. So if I go to my skeleton, so you can see I have a virtual bone available, virtual camera bone. So let's say if I delete this bone, we'll create it from scratch. So I will select my virtual bone root. You just need to create a bone uh, in, uh, under your root. So I will right click and 
create a new uh, virtual bond and I'm gonna call this virtual bond camera bond that's it so what next I need to do is instead of just let me disable the canvas so here we have just created a camera bond now we need to do what we need to do is inside our camera manager we need to get our mesh and we need to get socket location and we need to put the same put the name of care camera bone here that's it so now if i connect this value over here so our height changes and i need to add an offset which will be 140 for my case to bring my camera to a proper height and now if i hit play you can see my camera is at same location which is uh, which was before so now there's nothing extra if i am moving so now what we can do is there's a transform transform node so here is my calculation for ik and after performing all the calculation on ik what i'm gonna do is modify modify my virtual camera bond over here and i need to change the z location so i will change it to add to existing and i'm gonna use a split strut so here is my pelvis offset which i am calculating for feet ik and putting the same value for my virtual camera phone that's it so now if i hit play you can notice that when i am standing on stair my camera remains at the same location which was before here is the here i am standing on a plane surface and here i am standing on a steep surface and you can see the difference and also while we are running up and down on different slopes the camera height remains same so this is the better solution in my opinion for handling the camera manager and this will provide us the control for changing the or playing any other extra animation on top of it for example here in my falling and landing functionality i have created falling and landing so So here is the functionality when I am playing fall, falling animation, I am modifying the virtual camera bone and set it to minus 25. You can see if I bring my camera, oh sorry, player start over here. And if I drop, you can see the extra little animation playing on, on the camera. So for example if i change it to 50 and now if i fall see the camera height changes so this is a pretty, uh, really cool feature you can also implement while falling while landing while performing any takedown climbing or any kind of function uh, performing any functionality you can change the camera camera height based on the animation curves based on the animation values 
so here when I perform the land landing animation so here is my landing animation if I open it up so here is my landing animation I have just created a curve camera modifier so I am setting the value to minus 60 when I when the character just lands and then gradually we set its high its camera height so here's the camera modified curve and what i have done is inside my landing functionality i'm modifying the virtual camera bone using this camera modified curve so for example now if i land harder if i change it to let's say minus 120 and now if i land see you can clearly see the difference so you can play around with these values and play the extra animation on camera as well and for i have this this hard landing animation as well so inside this i have also added a camera modifier curve so when i when i land from a, from a height you can see it plays a different animation and this little uh, small camera animation adds a lot of realism and a lot of control so that's it for this video guys i hope you like it and i'll see you in the next one thanks